Hello Rangers and Survivors of the Apocalypse, welcome back to Wasteland 3 and playing hardball. We are in a very polluted area, close to Cheyenne Mountain over here, which is actually not so far away from Colorado Springs, just up here. Well, and we are going in there. I did some more thinking, by the way, about our, uh, our stuff, and the thing is, well, this is here... I also did some research, so apparently this Virgitin helmet is actually the best armor in the game, considering the armor points, right? And well, Mouse is the only one who could reasonably use that. And we do have the option to modify it, and like with this one here, speed plus 0 0.4, I think that would be a good thing. To make it quicker, um, and then the Virgitin uh, chest armor, there we could literally only put the this polyxylene barrier. I really find that this one is the best, yeah, with all the resistances. I, I really think that's uh, the best thing to have, in my opinion, um, if you can't get evasion. Yeah, and then on this one here, well, we don't, we only have one left of these sensory shrouds because I like the status effect resistance as well. Crit resistance, yeah, like here 15% is better than 6, obviously, and the, for the crit resistance, while crit resistance might happen more often, I'm not sure. And this here, the molybdenum alloy dome. I don't feel like it, like lo losing all the, the other resistances, so I think that's a really bad deal, which is probably why we are going to either salvage this stuff or sell it or something. It's not worth so much. Um, but the problem is that I also don't really want to miss out on, firstly, the earthquake ability here and the huge melee damage bonus. Yeah, so that's the big problem that I have. And I feel that actually for Mouse, being a brawler, the, the exoskeleton is actually the better armor. Yeah, because we can put in the... This here, the polyxylene barrier, and then it's 30. I mean, of course, this here, he comes... Like with this armor, we already have 55%, so that's, it's, it's really massive. Um... But I think we should rather be more offensive, yeah. And I wanna, I but I wanna wait uh, until we get the helmet so we can check out the helmet uh, for the for the exoskeleton, how much we get there. But we have a damage bonus of 15 with the legs and 20 with the with the chest piece. And I feel that this is uh, and in addition to the ability here, as I said before. And I think that's that's probably better. Especially as we already noticed that the game is more offensive oriented and it's better to kill enemies quickly. Otherwise, as we noticed, uh, although, I mean, he was standing right in front of the Scorpitron, right? Uh, and no one could uh, hope to survive that. Um and this is not, this armor is not a wonder thing or something. Yeah. But I, I'm also slightly disappointed that we got the power armor just so late. And now it's basically, it requires uh, eight strength. It's, it's essentially not usable. Do we actually have the power armor legs? No, really. Those are tank legs. Yeah, it's all a bit sad. But it certainly does look cool. Yeah. But let's see. So let's run. Let's roll a little bit further with the Virgitin armor. Uh, but I'm not going to modify the, these pieces here. I mean, of course, we could put into this one here. Actually, we can do that right now. Because we have three of these. The personal drive for the point four combat speed enhancement. Like, it's so sad that we can only put one in there, right? But yeah, I think this is like 
This is certainly a good thing. So let's put it in there. Let's do that for three. The virgin legs. There, it is done. And now we are quite quick with those. But otherwise we are not going to mod it. Um, even though it would probably be reachable that someone is getting the strength up back to seven right just three more levels but i think i have the feeling like looking at the huge uh increase uh, in, in xp that we need I've, i have the feeling that we are probably not getting too many more levels at this point and as you know i really i really try to maximize this one especially with our main character um yeah but i also did some thinking so let's go into giant mountain now i did some thinking about the game itself uh, and what i really like here is that we have the squad based thing yeah but i, I was also thinking about uh, the later conclusion video after finishing this let's play yeah what, what is actually good and what is not so good about this game also in comparison to others and to wasteland 2 because i watched a video about the second game uh, and i personally feel that a couple of things worked way better there actually although wasteland 3 is of course all in all a way more spectacular and better game but yeah we'll we'll get into that one Unless you want me to uh, talk a little bit more about it, please write uh, that in the comment section. So we are going into Chain Mountain now. It is a pre-deluge military and research facility rumored to house an ancient energy source. Let's get in there. That is certainly an interesting thing. An old military facility, huh? Oh, we are driving in. Rescue Theo. Oh, welcome to Cheyenne Mountain. Oh, 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 they are riding the nuke. Howdy, Ranger. As you explore the depths of Cheyenne Mountain, you'll encounter several new gameplay features. Even for experienced players, we recommend selecting Continue to see new tutorials about them. If you'd prefer to go in guns blazing, you can choose to disable tutorials. No, let's, let's hear them. Some funny music. Garage doors. Oh, there's something. This is wrong. You can't keep the holy detonation to yourselves. Blasphemy! The sacred glow belongs to the nucleus alone. The glow belongs to everyone. The angel has spoken. You will all be cast out to die in the wasteland with the rest of the unworthy. Stop this! There's no need for violence. Yeah, can we talk about this? Do we? They are hostile, though. Well, I mean, the zealots. You have betrayed the faith. The zealot people, they are all, all, always and very often a problem. So, what's going on here? Zealot crusader, they are shooting. Okay, well, I think we need to do something. So let's. Let's shoot this guy. There. Death decayed. Oh, he's not dead. It's not good that this guy wasn't this... Oh! Was this person dead before? Yeah, I think so, right? Or oh, was I carbuncle and benign? Was I was I just too late? The graphics are really cool though. Well, now it's too late. And then so we got this rally for what justice? Where's actually where's the zodiac there? Can you actually shoot someone from there? No, you can't. And this is like a suspicious pressure plate. But let's drive on it. Let's see what happens. 
Well, the color has changed. Ah, there were polar here, like these, uh, the bumpers, right? But well. Okay then, so eggs, is this guy, he's not dead, huh? Oh, he's basically dead. So they, they seem to have something, these guys, and it's also like they have some form of power armor or something. The Zealot Blaster. So I think we need to uh, kill those guys uh, on the flanks first. And that's actually our friend Theodore Curie from Colorado Springs. So X, you are going to run forward like there. Can actually, then we can't do anything, but we can use the special ability and destroy their. Yeah, let's go here. So like there. For five, we attack. Is this really a free attack now? Yes, it is. Good. All of them. It didn't destroy the stuff. Well, that's not so good. Let's shoot this guy. He's immune. What's happening? Oh, it's, uh, it's the effect, huh? He's, he's not going to die. Okay. Well, let's stand there uh, for a moment. Lucia. Maybe with... Sixty-three on this guy. I think we have to reload to check out how how this is actually working. Also, I think they just shot someone here, and maybe that's actually an important person. I think we need to go in quicker. These guys, they were alive before, right? So Lucia, then you shoot with energy. It's also immune. Okay. So it appears the holy detonation power, whatever this is, uh, is actually keeping this guy alive. And then let's shoot this guy. We shoot him. So the body, legs, head, and arms. It's like the usual thing, right? He's got spikes in his head. So let's shoot the, uh, the armor. There, destroyed the armor. Very nice indeed. Um, Marshall, you run here. Like there. And then we can use our special ability. Free attack. This guy has already destroyed armor. So let's shoot him for free. Very nice. And then we use our ability, puncturing shot on these two guys. And he will get further damage, the Zero Lord Enforcer here in the front, because he already has the destroyed armor. They are good. This guy is also poisoned now. I think the marshal needs to get out of there. Let's go here. Pre preparing for next turn. X. I had hoped that we would destroy some more of the uh, stuff over here, but well, so let's rather go on the defensive here. Who knows what these guys can do? Preparing. Cyclops goes there. And now for Mouse. 
What are these guys actually? He has an assault rifle or something. That guy. Oh, he's got a hammer that has a nuke on it or something. <laughs> what is that? I hope he's not exploding that thing. But the design is really funny and cool. Okay then, so I think we need to we need to uh, punch that guy first. So let's go here. Let's not find out what that means. Watching like so, the cru Crusader. There, yeah, very nice. Standing. Ah, so this here it transforms into a rock or something, but well. And then we go here. Yeah, yeah, that's the most efficient thing to do. And uh, his armor is already ma messed up, so we should actually be able to punch him nicely. Very good. He's really messed up and debuffed. And... Ah, why can't... Ah, it's two. Oh, well. Well then, so and then let's get... get over here, Lucia, yeah, you fall back, you go here, like this, Lucia, you run back, like there, let's be a bit more careful and defensive here, Kodiak, we're preparing for next turn, hardball, that guy is just out of range, but with this one here, you can shoot him. 86 actually so let's for five so let's kneel down uh, actually is it oh yeah well now i think it's probably better if we uh, demoralize these guys yeah that guy is super debuffed i think we've never seen that before right like so many yeah i think that's better so, and then we are actually preparing for next turn, so like this. Oh, they come in. Oh, they crit. Poor mouse, what? And mouse is already done, despite the best armor in the game. Okay, these guys. And there he's dead. Okay, so he's actually, so it's like getting one more a form of berserk mode or something i guess You're me off. yeah very good our battle chicken was that, supposed to hurt? that was a good line there think you could kill me? yes we do oh our the poltron missed Okay, well, so Hardball is not kneeling anymore. Did we get shot? No. So let's kneel. I'd like to know, and that's one of the uh, disadvantages, I, I really would like to know what these debuffs here mean. So like it's very rare for a game that uh, you see such stuff uh, but you don't get an information on it. It's not good de game design, sorry to say so. And by the way, uh, why why did we crouch down here? Because I want to shoot. Yeah, we, we should rather kill them than revive mouse at this point. So let's shoot this guy. Nice shooting for once. Yeah, there was even a lucky one. Oh, nice. Okay. 61. We are becoming an effective fighter for once. So, 81%. Very nice. 
then. Oh, young man Winters is in the way, so cluster bomb. Not acceptable, but we can make two attacks here. Yeah, this guy seems to be immune now. Let's shoot this here a lot. There you go. And that's the lot. Yeah, well, we just shoot this guy again. Or rather, this one here. Ah, oh, we can't. Okay, well then. So let's shoot this guy. The gunner. Death delayed. Okay, yeah. Uh, so it's this, I guess, the holy radiation or something. Cyclops. You're kind of exposed a bit over there. And yeah, well, then we use our rifle here. So these guys. Yeah, you shoot this guy. Good. Death is also delayed. X. Runs there. Free attack for Stormers. And then they both have. Uh, but here yeah, we you can actually. Can you shoot this one dead? The regular weapon, I think so, right? You can do it, right? No, you can't. Oh, come on! Why did she miss? Ah, well then, come on. Good. Death delayed. We got lucky then. Our laser sprayer. Shoot this guy. Nice. I really like this. Oh, and he's on fire now. Very good. And however, now that they are nearly all... Oh yeah, they are all done, basically, except for one guy. Now would be a good uh, time for Mouse, but well, he's not available anymore. So Lucia... Just runs there. It's a bit. It's everything is a bit reckless here, but well. The guy has a lot of effects now. So let's just shoot him. Seventy-two. Okay, the marshal. Can shoot the Zealot Blaster. Let's make the precision strike on the guy. Let's shoot him in the head for the bonus damage. Although, yeah, let's break his armor first. Should have done that before uh, letting Sophia attack, uh, Lucia attack, but well. Second shot for the bonus. Yeah, very good, and it's also done. So now we just have to suck up their repercussion. Um, so he's going to defend. Hardball is also do defending. I think everybody's just defending. X can crouch down. Defending, just have to survive their counter attack. Defending, oh, yeah, he's, he's beating up the poor stag. Oh, lucky miss. Oh, my goodness. That was Hello, giant mountain. Oh, I'm glad you made it. For a moment there, I thought you would be too late. What a battle! Oh, this is a mutant or something, a monster. Let me introduce you to my new acquaintance, brother or er, Carbuncle of the Primordialists, who 
came out with his friends to welcome me when I hailed Cheyenne Mountain over the radio. Uh huh. Yeah, that is actually quite civil. Hey, thanks for defending us. No way we'd have survived without your help. I wish I could welcome you to our home, but the bastard nucleus finally made their move. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight to get back in. Okay. Huh. Attacking drool. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help us with that? Oh, we can offer you food and supplies. <clears throat> it will also help us get closer to our goal. Well, nucleists, primordialists, can you both slow down and take it from the beginning, please? Uh, yes. I know you explained it to me once on our way here, Carbuncle, but all this violence has blown it clear out of my head. Would you mind going over it again? Sure. Okay. So I'm Brother Carbuncle, and my friends and I are primordialists. The ones we fought are nucleus, and it sucks that we're fighting at all. Those people used to be my friends. Uh huh. So a religious dispute, huh? See, in the beginning was the holy detonation, and us worshippers were called primordialists. We believe the detonation's sacred glow will make us all one, and we want to share it with the whole world. But one of us, Deuterium, started saying the world wasn't worthy of the glow. And we should keep it to ourselves. We called that heresy. So he went off and started a cult, the Nucleus, and called himself an abbot. Mm -hmm. Since then, the peaceful paradise that Cheyenne Mountain used to be has become a hellhole. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, well... And what exactly are you, Carbuncle? You don't look human. Oh, I am. I'm just devolved. Gloriously devolved, Father Bezor says. Mutation makes us all differently, and, and I went down the proto drool path. Still got my voice, though. Kinda. But some folks lose that first. It all depends. Uh huh. Eventually, I'll just be a big blob of protoplasm. It'll be great. Okay, that depends on, you know, the number of factors, I guess, but well... Fascinating. Yeah, indeed, it is fascinating. Well, and what, what, what's this battle we just helped you win all about? That was Deuterium picking his moment. Up till now, there's been no fighting between the two sides, but I... I guess he decided it was time. He knew just when to strike. <laughs> the bastard. Mm -hmm. He must have heard okay. a call to Theo here, saying we'd uh, come out to welcome him. Because when we got back, the Nucleus were waiting for us. So it is a form of coup, My dear huh? friend, I, I am so sorry if my call caused all this. How terrible. It's not your fault, Theo. But we gotta hurry back inside. They're attacking our camp in there. I heard our brothers and sisters calling for us on the walkie. That damn Deuterium's trying to wipe us out once and for all. Uh huh. And what was going on with the guys you were fighting? Are they glowing? They kept attacking after we killed them. Yeah. Uh, some mutations are more useful than others, right? You get enough radiation in you, and it can come back out in all kinds of crazy ways. For them, it keeps them alive for a little while after they buy the farm. Uh huh. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Well, I mean, we we also come back, right, in a way, but uh, thanks to medical attention. So, any friends of Theo's are friends of ours. We'll help you out, of course. Um. But what's that weird stuff blocking the door to that booth over there? Oh, that's a tumor colony. They form all over the place in Cheyenne Mountain. Kinda hard to clear them once they gather like that. 
Sister, Melanoma could tell you more about them once we get inside. If we get inside. Okay, well. We have sniffed out some interesting stuff in there. Well. <laughs> Why would we want to help a bunch of mutated freaks? We are not doing this. No, we are not. Now, if helping you is what we need to do to get in there, fine. We'll do it. No, no, no. Any friends of Theo's are friends of ours. We'll help you out because we are also the good rangers. Praise the great glow. Thank you, friends. Here's the passcode for the airlock. You enter it into the terminal next to it. Oh, okay. Just be prepared for more fire. You're, you're a very well trusting done, person there. You're one step closer. Okay, oh my god, we have two. We've got a shattered shoulder and chills. Oh, that's not good. And he's also he's shell shocked, evasion minus ten. And also got the chills. My goodness, why do we actually get two? Ah, because we are not we are not revived, huh? I think so. Yellow cake. Like a cake, except more of a sickly yellow powder, and instead of giving us deliciousness, it just gives us a few extra holes in our stomach. Loose fashion spikes. When you want your clothes to say no. <laughs> okay. Um, we need you, Val. But I think it's too late now. If there's any luck involved in the first place. Black eyeshadow. You can't be in a cold without some gothy makeup. It's the law. <laughs> More loose fashion spikes. If you want to have your clothes say no. Oh, what's that? A peelable flesh face. Ugh. In this case, you really don't want to see what's behind the mask. Spiky metal collar. You're not sure if the spikes are meant to keep it on or keep others away. Crystal shard made from the broken shards of radiation detection rods. This crude ammo is used by the holy detonation cultists. Oh, better not get hit by that. Okay, well then. So I'm not entirely certain, but these guys are dead now. Got some ammo. More crystal shards and the mask. Well. Yeah, otherwise everybody is okay, right? They didn't kill anybody. Come on, form up, guys. Where's the, the clone is here. Everybody is accounted for, right? Oh, Poltron and the Bison got it in a, in a bad way. Oh, and one chicken nearly, nearly got killed. That's actually... That's actually pretty nasty. That was Axis chicken. Okay. Well then, so we are inside Cheyenne Mountain and that was uh, a tough and very interesting fight with these guys. And I think that is actually quite the promise, right? So let's save the game. That is quite the promise. Um, so let's actually, yeah. Hmm. Let's not heal up right now. So is anybody a doctor, Benign? Thank you for saving us from those Nucleus friends. I'm Sister Benign of the Primordialists. We owe you our lives. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. It was our pleasure. So, this is some kind of religious war? Not so much a war as a massacre. We Primordialists haven't thrown so much as a punch, and now it seems Abbott Deuterium and the Nucleus are trying to kill us all. Hmm. Violence is never the best solution. They're attacking our camp inside them. too. We've got to get in there and save our brothers and sisters. Can you help us? Yeah, of course we are the Rangers. We'll see what we can do. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Be one with the glow, friends. Yeah, one with the glow. Need huh? to go when you are, Rangers. And then, well. So we are ready. What do we do again? Like I said. You should use the code I gave you to get the airlock open. Indeed. Oh, yeah, okay, well. So let's firstly check out some other stuff. So there was... Oh, why is the Kodiak... There? Eh? What happened? Oh, the Kodiak... Drove over here. What? Where are we? Ah, uh, there. 
So the Kodiak was here. And the color actually changed. Well then, so let's have a look in here. There's a garage door. A servitor bot. Ammo box. Saw blades. Computer. Maintenance management system online. Please enter your command. Check maintenance management log. There are more than a hundred years of uh, daily logs to scroll through. Oh. So like... 30,000, 35,000. I think we have better things to do, right? All the pre deluge logs are similar, detailing minor repairs and regularly scheduled maintenance. Ranking the files by bit size, we are able to find a few logs with more incidents. Okay, well, so na log for 19, uh, like March 21st, 1998. The log is over 50 pages long. It begins auto repair request, structural damage to entrance tunnel, auto repair request, power outage, all levels. Ceiling collapse, broken pipes in 1998, huh? And then one day later, the log is identical to the previous day's log, except for a note next to almost every repair request, unable to complete entrance locked. Mm -hmm. And then in 2021, auto repair request, damage to entrance tunnel turrets and main door, bullet holes and tunnel floor, dispose of corpses and clean up bloody blood stains. Ah, uh, yeah. And then in 2079, clean up animal feces and bones in entrance tunnel. A couple of times. And then in 2106, new maintenance admin added B. Bezoa. Bezoa maintenance request clean entrance tunnel. Fix main doors, fix loading, dock elevator, replace light bulbs. Okay, interesting. And then let's check the maintenance robot status. Status low power battery defect detected. Uh huh. Um, let's exit for now. And then can we do something here? Requires power. Okay, open maintenance robot storage. Okay, without power, but whatever. Exiting and servitor bot. I don't know, what can you do? Oh, medical assistance is actually a good thing. Come with us, I'm sure we can find something for you to do. Oh. Um, well, it's okay, we are new here, but, well, let's remove the robot's memory module. Start completed. Initiating follow-up assist mode. More big battery powerful detected. System failure bay on curve. Repair him. Okay. Oh yeah, well we have now got a servitor bot. You see a healing someone. Yeah, I guess through the battle. Well then, so that's nice. We've got a servitor bot now. Oh. A broken Humvee with a huge machine gun out there, but I guess it's it's also broken and rusty or something. Not salvageable. So. And then here this one, pick lock. Uh -huh. Medical crate. Some stuff.
Did the chicken just run in there? Thank you, Servitor Bot. What's that? Holy radiation. Watch out. That eerie yellow orange glow is holy radiation, which is found only within Cheyenne Mountain. Holy radiation starts at level 1 and builds up to level 10, with higher levels bringing increasingly severe effects. Most harmful, but some helpful. Holy radiation can only be removed using rare items called holy radiation batteries, so you'll consider. Uh, you'll need to consider when and on whom to use them. Aha. Did we already get it? No, right? We have. Oh, we just have internal bleeding. Oh. And the chills. Oh, we've got three people messed up. Okay, well, we really need to see a doctor here. Toxic waste pipe. Broken valve. Well. Let's go there. Let's hope we don't have to fight soon. We need to find a doctor. There's something diggable. Let's do it. LED matrix, titanium plating, laser emitter and some ammo. And a commemorative smashed penny. An old pressed coin It's engraved with the words. Oops. Cheyenne Mountain Complex and is dated 1967. Well. Got a frag mine, level 8 to disarm. There you go, and a container with a radiation detection rod, originally used by Cheyenne's pre deluge scientists as a wearable warning system that turned yellow when they absorbed radiation. These rods, made of lab grown synthetic diamond, oh, are now worn by the followers of the Holy Detonation as badges of honor to prove they've worshipped in the presence of their god. Ah, oh, yeah. And a gently glowing science textbook. <laughs> okay. Unless this pre-war textbook is a Bible in disguise, something meaningful must be inside if it's glowing like that. Yeah, sure, right? That's for sure. And... Well, that's over here. Can we actually... What happens if we go... On the doors? Requires power, well then. So, someone repair this one, please. Cyclops. Cyclops? Since when are you actually... No, it's X, of course, yeah. I was uh, wondering. Uh, I guess we could actually... We could have gone around here to get to these guys from behind, yeah? Yeah. Well, we, we, we punched through, right? I mean, this was not the most glorious battle that we had so far. So, Kodiak, you are just standing there, huh? Can we talk with the with Morningstar? Oh, what? Why? No. Thank you, but no thank you. At one time, this was the most secure facility in America. Okay. Cheyenne Mountain, I'm not sure. Do you guys know the, the series Stargate? I mean, they are also in a mountain. <sighs> Can we actually... Oh, they are... Oh, they are they glowing now? Since when? Please, help us get inside. Ready to go when you are, Rangers. Yeah, we're good, thanks. thanks. You. Can we talk with him directly? You are Rangers? No. Okay, we're good, Thank thanks. You. Um. Oh, there's something. That doesn't sound and look too healthy over here. There is a toaster to repair, though. So, what about this tumor door? By the way, our young bison is also like, it looks like it is full of tumors or something. But well. Where's the servitor? Ah, 
Oh no, it's here. Yeah, there. Okay. The chicken, they are, they are doing something there. The tumor door. An immense cancerous mass has grown across this doorway. Our weapons cannot breach the thick mucus and calcified plating that covers it. Well, we don't, we don't want to shoot. Servitor, can you do anything? You can do it. Be boop. boop. Well. Okay then. So, the ammo box. Okay, some ammo. So let me just. Hey, don't run in there. Guys, what are you doing? Don't run in there. So, okay, our animal gang has regenerated, fortunately. So, there is a toaster to repair. And who knows what effect this has. So, X is our toaster repair person, as we remember in our mechanic. And uh, so she she has energy resistance 30 and stuff. So let's see how this goes. Well, I'm saving the game. Toaster repair over there. Is something happening? Oh yeah, holy radiation. The firmware prototype crafting a component. You aren't sure what the difference between software and firmware is, but you think it's probably rated R. Aha, uh -huh. and then more radiation detection rods. And now that we are here, oh, it's like, okay, it's not a good idea to run in there. Carbon fiber rolled up sheet of the blackest, lightest, sleekest, and most badass thing ever produced by material science. Mm-hmm. More yellow cake, like radioactive cake, right? Well then, get out of there. So and now, oh. Holy radiation 4. That probably shouldn't be glowing or pulsating or writhing. Ugh. Healing bonus plus 9. Combat speed is reduced. Crit chance and hit chance is reduced. That's actually not so good. Hmm. So <laughs> let's let's actually let's rather uh, do something else first and then we can come back for the toaster later. Because maybe we find something that shields us from this holy radiation. But uh, I also wonder if there is maybe something that we get or, or could use. Um, oh no, 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 no. Guys, get away from there. Dog picking is impossible. Let's go here. And then we can do this. Oh, poor little servitor bot. Oh, come on. And what do you have? Only melted capacitator. Well, then, let's look into this here. Door seal control terminal active. Enter the access code. Yeah. Code accepted. Door opening. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I think I want to reload now. Uh, we are going to reload another time uh, because we need to check this one out. So this is the door they were talking about. Uh, I'm not sure if... Hmm. It appears the inner door has been sealed. Yeah, Okay. it's sealed automatically if a security lockdown is triggered. The nucleus must have done it to keep us out. Uh-huh. How do we cancel the lockdown? Uh, I think there might be a way in the access control room over there. Uh, maybe. Mm hmm. You know much about your own base, do you? Uh, sorry. Good luck. Please, well, Rangers. Well, let's just check here. So, was there something else that we could do? Oh, we, oh no, actually, we already checked everything. There was nothing here. So, it's, now it's just the room and the stuff, the radioactive stuff over here okay then so it's fine then let's save this and 
We do have a computer here. There's also stuff. Oh, and the frame rate is just uh, dropping. Okay, then. So we, we accomplished quite something. We had a, a pretty big fight here. Um, and this ends the episode. We are in front of this door. What happens later, we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I think I need, just need to restart this, but the episode is all, already long enough. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts you wish to share also for the walkthrough, please do so in the comment section. Any tips and tricks? What you think about uh, here in Cheyenne Mountain? That will be certainly a fun thing. Yeah, and then we are continuing next time. Thanks for watching. Look, there's a beautiful subscription button that you can press right now. So you never ever miss an episode again and receive great luck. And you will receive even greater luck if you click the shiny beautiful like button right now. See you next time. Thanks and bye bye.